Leather tanning is one of the oldest and the most useful discoveries. In the beginning, skins obtained from hunting and livestock breeding could be used for clothing or tents. Wall paintings and artifacts in Egyptian tombs dating back to 5000 before Christ indicate that leather was used for sandals, clothes, gloves, charms for burying the dead, and for military equipment. During Roman times, leather was widely used in all the provinces of the empire, and more efficient tanning techniques were introduced where they had not been developed locally. In the early 18th century, the industrial revolution dramatically changed the way people both made and consumed the goods. With advances in machinery, all goods, leather included, could be made more quickly and at a lower price. They could be manufactured, and the consumers could and did purchase a higher quantity of goods. The Industrial Revolution brought handmade leather craft the most dangerous competitor. After the Industrial Revolution, handmade leather craft became more and more minority. But with time goes by, the handmade leather craft has not gone away. It has its own place instead. More and more people have noticed this craft and started to pay attention to it. Lots of craftsmen would like to share their products, photos, and videos online for new men to learn, especially on Instagram and Weibo. How to make a leather gird? Here is a very brief process. Choose the style. Cutting leather. Barrel needle eyes on each and so. I started to make leather bags four years ago after I saw a video about a great craftsman. Many people suggested me to give up, but I didn't. They thought it was a waste of time, and I could use less money to buy one. Why does people choose handmade leather goods? Because it is unique. It is customized. It has some beautiful defects, not like the perfect machine made. Hopefully, handmade leather craft could be found and inherited more by the public, also for all the traditional craft.